Okay, um, this is the DeWalt Joist Driller, half inch chuck, it's a nice strong machine. They use those flex bolt better, well it only takes the flex bolt better. Um, great driller. Um, how to set up, how to choose and set up your hole saw that you want to use and set it up in the uh, chuck. So I'm setting, right now I'm going to be drilling for a 3 inch ABS pipe, so I'm setting, I'm going to use a 3 and 5 eighths uh, hole saw. So first you need to find your three and five eighths pull saw. Do the booth, I have lots of things for you. Okay, three and five eighths. Um, um, so you grab your three and five eighths pull saw, set it up in your arbor. I'm actually going to use a uh, different arbor that I have that comes with the kit. You can see that the one that I'm using is a little bit longer, has a spade on it. It's going to go through wood a little bit better than this one. So, put your bit on, put your hole saw on, and watch. So you line up, you go all the way, and then you back up a little bit and line those line those holes up mm -hmm. with the pegs on the hole saw. Push it in there. You can see this rubber gasket right here? You tighten this nut against it. Just finger tight. That's it. This thing's done. Now you're going to drill. When you're when you're done and you want to switch uh, hole saw blades, you just use your finger and you loosen this nut. And it's, and it's going to loosen up just fine because you're compressing against a rubber gasket right here. So you don't need any kind of tool at all. This is all finger tight action. So you take that nut off. You slide this back. It unlocks from the actual hole saw, and this will just come off really nice. Okay. Spin on your arbor, line up which holes you want all the way, then back up a little bit, all the way and back up a little bit, take the closest holes, spin the lock nut up, press it against that little rubber gasket, and this is ready to go. Okay, putting it inside the chuck. Put it in with hand at first. Okay, look at it. Make sure that the chucks are lining up on the flat part of the arbor. They are really nice. Let me show you what long would look like. Can't go wrong. Okay, that's wrong. When you go to actually tighten that down on that and start to drill it, this is going to slip. It's going to slip in here and get loose. So you want to line those up. Now, mind you, this is this is when you're actually in the field and working, you're actually going really fast. You just you kind of, usually you'll see, you'll see the little wiggle because if you're wiggling, it's it's going to find true. It's going to Everything's going to fit really nice. Now, now we still got to tighten it, right? It's only in their finger tight right now. So, uh, this DeWalt joist driller comes with this uh, key chuck holder and this key. So, pop that out there, and you want it to be that tight too. Look, this really goes in there nice. And the shank of this key right there snaps right into this uh, key holder. And you put your finger under here and snap it out. You want it to be that tough too, because while, when you're running around drilling all your holes, you don't want this to fall out and lose your key. Okay. So you put it in there. See it? You put that in that hole right there, and then the teeth right here match up with the teeth of the chuck. And then tighten it up. That's done. That's in there. Nice. Always, always put the key back. Don't put the key right there. And, oh, I'm just going to come back to it. You're going to lose it. Put the key back. Okay. This is ready to go. I usually like to put a chuck on here for a quick change. So how to remove the hole saw. Put the chuck in there. Go backwards. See how I went lefty-loosey? Lefty-loosey. The key is turning that. It's turning the chuck right here and opening that up. Pull it out. So let's put a six inch uh, extension uh, quick exchange. Put it 
in there. Tighten it up by hand, give it a little wiggle, make sure it's good. Put the key in there. Tighten it up. Put the key away. Now look. Now we're not now we're not gonna have to mess with that again. This is locked. Quick release. Boom. Quick release. Okay. A lot of times I like to have multiple arbors going with different sizes on it. If I want the two and nine sixteenths, I can take that out and put the two and nine sixteenths and then I'm in business. But sometimes I don't have the room for this all this whole Hang length on. of I don't have the room for all this. So I have to take the uh, extension out and put the whole saw back in tight quarters. But that's, that's how you do it.